Hey, this is Tim with TM Media, and I got a uh, another question I want to respond to. Uh, someone uh, on the on the message board asked me, uh, what kinds of questions or format do you use on communicating with the customer? What kinds of questions do you ask um, ask a, a client that's a you're the designer, you do it kind of client? So, and that's that's a that's an excellent question because. Um, because I'll, I'll get that type of client once in a while that uh, is not going to give me very little input and is going to say, well, you know, you're the designer, design it. And how I deal with those type of people is if, if I think they're going to be just very hard to deal with or the communication is just not going to be there and I think it's going to be too intricate of a project, then I just... I don't do it. I mean, I just say, you know, I just my attitude is, hey, if you're not willing to invest some time in this, um, and, and at least communicate with us, then you know, we're not we're not mind readers, and you got to let them know that this is a two, uh, this is this is a uh, more of a partnership uh, type of type of deal. Uh, you know, you don't have to have them on the phone for hours and hours, but you need to get feedback. So. We usually, uh, the questions I ask for um, right off the bat is when, I'm, when a new client is approaching me, uh, within, I would say, within the first 10 minutes, I want to find out what type of budget they have. And that's a, I might have done something on the, on the video on this before, but that's, uh, that, that's something you want to find out pretty quickly. Because that tells you... Uh, if the person number one is realistic if, and, and they're not wanting you know a logo for twenty five dollars and understand a little bit of the value of of design work and understand that that it does take a little bit of an investment uh, and it, it also gives you an idea of their expectations are we talking uh, and, and gives you an understanding of what size company you're dealing with. Are we, are we talking Joe Subs down the street, or are we talking IBM corporate that wants an annual report done? So, is it a takeout menu or is it a catalog? I mean that kind of thing. So it gives you an idea what type of level the project is, and just get a gauge of what these people's expectations are. Now, when you ask, usually a budget for a budget. If they're a marketing director and have been in the business for a while, they'll usually sometimes they'll shoot out a number, um, or usually they'll, they'll they'll shoot out at least a range. So, what I do is I ask them, uh, you know, give them an idea. Can, can you give me an idea what your budget is? And a lot of times I get hesitation. Well, we don't know stuff like that. Then from that point, what what I say is, well, can you give me at least a range, a rough range, and if they still don't know, then I start throwing numbers at them. Um, I start asking them, do they want to spend anywhere from, uh, you know, do they want to spend five to ten thousand dollars on this? If I if I'm if I'm taking a guess on the level of the project, and I, I I have an idea, I'll, I'll I within that I usually start out high, and if the person falls off the chair, then obviously I know that they're not expecting to do that, and say, so, okay, well. Are you looking for what a thousand to five thousand, twenty five hundred to five thousand? I mean, what can you give me an idea? Now, if they're below that, then I'll say, well, so you're trying to get under a thousand dollars. What you know, what what type of uh, at that point, if it's five hundred to thousand dollars, it better be a fairly quick project. I'll look at it, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it. We don't usually take that many projects that low, but. Um, if the client is telling me they want to spend a couple hundred bucks, stuff like that, that's when I say, well, you know, sorry, we really can't help you. And and that's a good way to really filter the profile of clients that are realistic and the ones that aren't. Because if you go spend a half an hour talking to them and then find out later that they got 50 bucks to spend or they don't even have any money, then, I mean, what's the point? Don't waste your time. I mean, because when you're on the phone, that's your time as well. Um, and you're, you're basically consulting. You'll, you'll get a lot of people calling you, uh, wanting just to kind of chew your, your chew your brain and get some free advice as well. So make sure you don't run into that. That because when I was first starting, I would start. I mean, I, I sometimes I, I went an hour and a half on the phone, and then um, 
found out that, um, or even even set set up meetings and had them come. And uh, I remember it was one client had a new curling iron or something and wanted to do package design and all this stuff. And it, we're we're talking product branding, and you know we're talking at least uh, a few thousand dollars uh, to to do this. And uh, he he wanted it done for like a couple hundred bucks, and I I felt like kicking him out at the door. So. I mean, don't put yourself in that situation. So, so, so just um, by by not putting yourself in that situation, ask them about budgets fairly quickly. As far as the communication, um, I probably can talk about that a little bit more in another video. Um, but but for now, I'll kind of kind of give you this, and hopefully hopefully this helps. I'll, I'll do another video probably right after this about. Uh, more about the communication part and just kind of uh, how we how we go from A to Z. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening and thanks for your question. Bye.